Now, Runcy is going to start singing like a canary. Do you think that a, a student's uh, record in school uh, should be used in a background check to determine whether they should be able to purchase a gun? Uh, yes, I, again, I believe that we have good quality information that's out there, and it's not being used to ensure that we can provide the best public safety services that we can. So right. whatever information is available, right. um, we, it needs to be done while at the same time respecting the privacy rights of the individual. Broward County School Superintendent Robert Runcie has been arrested. He was taken into custody on a perjury charge. We have team coverage at noon on his arrest. Let's start things off with local 10 News reporter Hatzel Vela. He's outside the school district headquarters. What do we know so far, Hatzel? Well, Christy, I can tell you the superintendent was uh, released from jail in the past hour or two. The superintendent was officially arrested by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. And as you mentioned, the superintendent is now being charged with perjury. That is the official charge in this case. Here's a mug of the superintendent uh, taken overnight or probably within the past couple hours. This means, this charge means that he lied under oath about something. What that was, we still don't know, still waiting for the arrest report. But sources are telling Local 10 that the arrest is related to a statewide grand jury investigation that was looking into problems with Broward Schools construction bond issue. The grand jury is also investigating corruption and payoffs within that program. And by the way, if you're not familiar with the grand jury and what it's doing, that state grand jury, statewide grand jury is expected to issue the report in the coming weeks. They were expected to report or spotlight school safety in the wake of the uh, Parkland school shooting back in 2018. The report also could address public corruption and mismanagement of school construction projects. But as we know it, the superintendent here in Broward School is arrested sometime today, charged with perjury, uh, was just released from jail about an hour this is huge people this is huge that animal that shot the parkland school up he has not been tried yet he's still sitting in the county jail the coward cop who hid and called in fake phony uh, radio calls while he was hiding he hasn't uh, been tried either this has been held up for a long time now runcy is going to start singing like a canary Thanks to Governor Ron DeSantis with this grand jury. Ron DeSantis is the best governor in America today and the best governor in the history of American governors. This guy is just unbelievable, and he will one day be our president. I hope so. This is all about Parkland. This is amazing. And, and this, this last thing here um, in, the, in the charges against Runcie, whether school officials violated and continue to violate state law by systematically underreporting incidents of criminal activity to the Department of Education. For those that aren't familiar with Parkland, it's one of the most exclusive areas in our community, which never made sense to me because it's as far away from the beach as you can be in Broward County. It's on the edge of the Everglades. But rich, powerful, connected people live there. It's a very exclusive area. And um, um, when the shooting happened and the media were out there in front of the school for weeks and months, but it was like the day after, uh, one of the news, they were interviewing residents and they said, I can't believe, and you heard this many times, but I remember one lady in particular, we're shocked, we're, we are the safest city, and I think it's said in Florida. Well, they were cooking the, the crime statistics. And remember The Wire on HBO about corruption? and Baltimore police and things. They did a whole season on, on the crime stats. They were cooking the books on crime stats in the city of Parkland and in the Broward County schools. And if you don't arrest and charge people with crimes, on the books you have zero crime. And once he was involved in this up to his, uh, up to his eyeballs, he's gonna be singing like a canary. We're going to finally get justice. And there's a lot of people like former Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel who are probably freaking out right now. Because now we're going to get to the bottom of it. Runcy is the one who brought in the program that allowed the uh, shooter to remain a, a, a free kid when he should have been arrested long ago for a lot of crimes. That my brother's keeper program or something where they... Where they uh, 
wanted to reduce the rate of crime among minority students, so they just don't tr uh, arrest black students on school grounds, then they got no crime. We're finally going to get justice in this, and, 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 and find out what really led up to Nicholas Cruz, that animal who was insane, and in, he's insane. Anybody who's been him will tell you. I ran into him that one time at Wawa. He's crazy. Scared the, that out of me. And this was before the shooting. And he scared me. Little tiny guy, too. He's like five foot tall. This is, this is a national story with the Broward School Superintendent. You better make a deal quick. First one that makes the deal gets the deal. Right? First one that talks gets the deal, whatever the phrase is. I'd be making a deal right now. Uh, I, we, uh, we all appreciate the leadership you've shown uh, in uh, guiding your students and your community through this. So thank you for coming on, sir.